Of course. Alright folks, welcome to another Let's Play, and as you can see, something is a little bit different on the side of my shirt. I have finally joined the traffic division, as you can see when I was responding here. I had the ALPR and a Retro Vapid Stanier, uh, so that's been a little bit of fun to drive. I'll be allowed to drive the Interceptor here soon, I just have to get uh, my traffic supervisor patrol done, and then hopefully eventually here in another week or two, I'll be cleared in a full-blown traffic officer instead of a repo probationary, then I'll be allowed to drive unmarked and the interceptor. However, I definitely enjoy driving the Retro Standier, so welcome to another Let's Play. I've had a hell of a lot of fun the last week and a half, or I guess it's only been a week since I've been in traffic on here, but uh, definitely have been enjoying my time in traffic division. So I was responding to this call, this guy took off from a pursuit, and then uh, he eventually bailed on foot, and we got caught them here, and uh, I was a little bit behind the pursuit because I was coming a bit further away, so I got to the scene. Uh, the guy ended up disconnecting and then he came back in, so now we're just kind of waiting for his internet connection obviously to work properly, then we'll get him a cuss, and then we will be out doing other duties. Um, it's been very crazy here every night on GTA World, been a lot of shootings, a lot of pursuits, a lot of action the last couple of weeks, so it's been actually pretty hard to keep up with, but uh, yeah, definitely had a good time. Uh, so it's great to be here doing another Let's Play, so I know a few of you are probably wondering what happened, where have I been, don't worry, haven't gone anywhere just been doing uh or just been getting into traffic getting my feet wet with traffic and here i am so back for another one and i definitely look forward to giving you guys some traffic let's plays because i super enjoyed it been a lot more parking tickets and stuff like that too but uh, overall we did an op on sunday on popular street so that was awesome about seven or eight of us were on popular street pulling over a lot of speeding truckers which is very common so we end up writing a bunch of citations and stuff so you do a lot of fun stuff with traffic uh, if that's what you're into, I am. So uh, that's why I ended up joining it and give myself a bit of a better experience here in the PD. Because overall I've had a good experience, but why not take that experience and elevate it to the next level. So right now we're getting this guy cuffed it looks like. Looks like his internet's working well enough. We're going to get him cuffed, then we're going to get him a patrol car and take him away. So without further ado, we'll be back here in a couple minutes and then we will be out on regular patrol. So guys, oh, as, as you can see, uh, Mr. Sexy Bunting has returned to uh, the LSPD. How you feeling there, mister? I am perfectly fine, thank you for asking. Well, Happy that's to be great. Back. You just had to come back because I'm so sexy. Oh, yeah, I missed all your enthusiastic um, Let's Plays and... No. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play episode. I forget the number <laughs> with Mr. Bunting here, aka Mark Robinson. He gets so bored, he just had to come back and say hi to us. I obviously had the sexier car. No one actually really likes the buffalo. We just pretend. I mean, every every time I tried to take a picture, it was like needing maintenance or it was broken. So I was like, okay. Obviously, the Victor is the best car, though. Yeah. I do miss driving in the Victor, though. Yeah, I mean. You can eventually again, once you get one that's, uh, maintained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, are, is there anything you'd like to say to all the uh, viewers out there? Well guys, um, obviously, I've known uh, Houston for a very, very long time, off by as you guys know. Uh, no, I've been a part of his Let's Plays since ah, CRP as well, like that was a... Oh, that was a long oh, time ago. That makes us cringe thinking about it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. But Just yeah, a little bit. I've always, I've always had a secret well, loving for Mr. Flyer. you joined what, 2015? Or before? Yeah, no, before that, I, was, uh, I joined 2013. Holy shit, yeah. Oh my god. That's scary. Yeah, I mean... That, I'd... That's scary. So we've known each other seven years. Yeah, it's been quite a while. I've known um, Roberts for... Just over ten now, so you don't like that's for 10? yeah. I met him in two thousand and ten. Where at? Uh, a server called Continental Roleplay. I feel like I've heard of it before. Uh, it was a server that was like big from twenty ten to twenty twenty twelve ish, and then, and then it started died to die down. Died. Yeah, like it died, and obviously I moved to RCRP, Man, and then obviously I, did not I met a lot of you. Each other seven years. 
Yeah, it's crazy, man. I didn't play crazy. RCRP much. Like, I played it an okay amount in 2013, but 2014 I didn't feel like I played that much. I feel like, if I remember right, 2014 was like a nasty year for RCRP. Like, things just were not going right for the server at that point, if I remember right. Yeah, like, the roleplay quality was bad went from bad. really good to bad. And they just didn't really improve for a while. And like 2016 started to get better, if I remember right. Like, it's been a long time now. Um, and then, obviously, now I went back to try it before I came back here for a week. And I won't lie, I did, I did not enjoy it. it, it yeah. It didn't feel like what it used to be. Now I gotta get someone for illegally parking. Oh boy, this is Mr. Alex Carter guy. Oh dear. So, uh, yeah guys, another thing. If you are actually interested in joining GTA World, I would definitely recommend it. I'm sure Mr. Fire here has also recommended it. Probably one of the better roleplay servers I think I've ever been on. Well, definitely. Uh, it, like, it's very heavy duty. Like, every situation yes. you're on is very in depth. So, if you're not ready for that, maybe. Maybe GTA World is too heavy for you because I know one thing when I first came over, and I don't know if you had the same thing or not, Bunting, is it's culture shock going from oh. what we had to this. Like it's legitimate culture shock. Like it took not only did getting into was getting into PD a culture shock, dealing with how different everything is on GTA Five and GTA World was a huge change from what we were used to. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I joined GTA World in October of 2019, so I'd I just uh, finished with some pro play. Uh, I left um, uh, RCRP slash LSRP as part of both servers. Uh, started when I came over to GTA World uh, whilst I was actually still in the uh, army. Yeah. Uh, and then you know, just got into it. Spoke to a few old friends. Uh, and yeah, just kicked off, started to, I joined FD as a volunteer for about a month and I got kicked out due to inactivity, which is fair enough. I was yeah. quite busy by then. And then joined PD in December and to be honest, it's probably been the best run I've ever had. I've got to Lieutenant, which was very fun. Uh, obviously, you're expected to do a lot as you go through the ranks, but it's fun nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And obviously... I, unfortunately, sorry guys, I can see that you guys can see that I'm giving out a parking ticket right now. I just had to upload my evidence really quick as we're talking to him here just before I give out the ticket. Just that way I have it for when I do the report. Um, I enjoy staying as a P2 because I really just don't feel like doing any of that supervisory stuff and whatnot. I'm a guy that likes to just get on. And I, I know you can still do that as a supervisor too, but it's a lot easier to just get on and just play if you are... Uh, not in the supervisory position, would I be wrong in saying that? No, you're, you're perfectly right. I mean, if you guys like, like you know, responsibility and, you know, taking lead and things, and obviously going up is your thing, but if you just want to get on, chill out, you know, do some patrolling, maybe a bit of, like, paperwork for your division or whatever, you know, that's always good, but P2, it's just the chill, like, chill out rank. We yeah. obviously we call them Terminal Twos because nobody ever wants to progress from that rank. Yeah. So. Um, the other thing is too is that uh, one sec. I'm kind of like typing and talking at the same time. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing is too is like I've joined a division now, so like I can kind of see how that works a little bit. Um, there is added paperwork depending on which division you join. Luckily, traffic doesn't have a whole lot, so you just kind of do like things like you would kind of on red county you would do just normal duty reports and then like you have traffic collision reports and stuff like that so things are very detailed like the other day i had to write up a traffic accident report involving the fire department and figure out who was at fault and whatnot was the ticket worthy of being issued which in that instance it was not worthy of being issued it was just the woman had her volume turned up too loud unfortunately she didn't hear the sirens coming so you could argue that yeah it would be failure to yield to a traffic control device which would be the sirens but at the same time, it's kind of like she didn't do anything neg negligent. So I gave the report. I sent it off our PLA to the insurance companies and whatnot for them to deal with. I did deem her at fault. And I also sent that copy of the report off to the fire department. So there's a lot of interesting things that you can do if you get into a division. Um, 
just that you wouldn't necessarily be able to normally do on regular patrol. I don't think I'd be wrong in saying that, would I? No, like every every division has their own unique setting, essentially. So, like Brennan said, uh, like if you want to do traffic, then you know you got that pay you got traffic based paperwork to do. Yeah. So uh, I I I was in Metro. I'm hopefully going back to it, but. Like, that was tactical, so like, you know, we had tactical based uh, paperwork and it was a lot different to, you know, let's say detectives, obviously detectives do their own thing as well. Yeah, detectives like, have every... the most paperwork, I think. Exactly, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah right. There's, a, yeah, there's a lot to being a detective, so if you're someone that really, really, really enjoys that stuff, go ahead and do it, but just be prepared for most of your job to be paperwork. Um, yes. Yeah, from what I understand, that is the case. Uh, there's just a lot that goes into it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> because it's you very have to sit there. Based. You have to sit there and figure out everything. Uh, you have to figure out like you have to have every nitty detail down before you can arrest somebody as a detective or take anybody down for that matter. If you miss one step as a detective and try to go to court with it. You're done. Your case is over right then and there. And so you have to be super, super careful as a detective. And even as just a regular officer, you still have to be careful on what you arrest people for. Because even if somebody says that they did something, you still need proof that they did it. And it can really, really make it interesting on certain scenes where someone's claiming somebody did something. And you kind of believe them. But if you can't find that proof, you can't charge them for it or anything, and unfortunately you just gotta let them go. It's not like Red County where a lot of people, and I think Bunting, you can agree with this, a lot of people got arrested that probably shouldn't have on Red County because <laughs> they just ran on a hunch. It was really bad. Yes. If yeah. you yeah. like, on RCRP, if, even if you did a minor fuck up, you know, in terms of an arrest, nothing really would come from it. However, on here, it's very yeah, it paperwork based. It could like, end your career if you do If it you wrong. fuck up in a major way, that's that that's your character basically in the dumps. Like you more or less will get punished in a serious manner. Obviously, there's minor punishments, but if if it's negligent, you know, if it's negligent arrest, then obviously it can majorly mess yeah. you over. And I know you guys watching this video right now I can't see a whole lot of what I'm doing. It's because I'm on the MDC typing things in for people. Right now I'm doing a background check, which normally in real life be called the 1029, but on here it's called the code 10. That somebody's just getting me to run somebody's information and checking it out uh, to let them know if they have any priors or anything, which they do not. So I will let them know that. What in the... Okay. 1.1 does still have a couple of bugs it needs to iron out, but not too bad now. Yeah, oh, that's another thing I forgot to tell you guys is I know this probably isn't like the most exciting Let's Play right now just because like just Bunty and I talking, but it's fun stuff to talk about because a lot of the time I don't get a chance to talk to you guys about this is uh, GTA World is officially on 1.1. So we're on it right now, but they're having an official launch tomorrow, which is going to include a lot of bug fixes and other things. So it's exciting to be officially on 1.1. I just watched somebody fail to yield to a red light, so they're going to get pulled over. Yeah, I mean, it's been long awaited. Uh, like we've always been, you know, joking around saying 1.1 soon TM soon TM, but shoot a, a van that just rammed an officer take that one. Oh boy, I'm gonna go to that actually. Yeah, yeah. Again, this guy did run over and off sound purpose. So, uh, westbound on this, he's swerving quite a lot. Watch out for traffic up ahead. Watch out for a lot of traffic up ahead, we've got a lot of pedestrians in the road. I'm taking a southbound turn here on uh, Strawberry, hard on the brakes. And we're gonna be continuing now. 
Some standbys, you know, being northbound on Elgin. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Keep some distance, he's gonna try and break check you. User joined your channel. So, uh, continue northbound on Elgin. I'm gonna take a westbound turn here on uh, Vespucci Boulevard. And a northbound turn onto Power Street here, seems to be lower power. Northbound. Scene 2 for us, attack one, please. And we're going to be taking a westbound turn on San Andreas Avenue. Still westbound, passing the license registration centre. We're going to be northbound on Las Lagunas. Go for a pit when you can. Have we got any heavy duty vehicles? There's a van. Almost, a almost at the back. User joined your channel. Yeah, we might. When we want to go for a pit, we might want to scout and go lead in the pursuit. Or if we have any other heavy duty vehicles. Just because he's not going to speed away from me, we don't need it. So. Yeah, let's let's start bringing that out. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Okay, out. Come, let's in. come in, come in, come in. Yield right for the uh, heavy duty. We're going to eastbound on Holwick Avenue right now. Northbound on, northbound on power. Northbound on power. We're going to take an eastbound on Spanish Avenue. You mean my scout? We don't have an arm. Uh, yeah, scout. The Alamo is behind the uh, unmarked buffalo. Okay. Drive we got, bring it up. We're not on a medium. Yeah, no. Let's get that scout on him first. We're gonna be eastbound, fine with Boulevard here. We're gonna be northbound on the Elgin. Take him here. <sighs> Ooh, that might be an NBA, I'm not sure what that is. Just northbound on Elgin. Scout on him, I'll yield for you when you come up. Yep. Doing northbound on Elgin. He's going off road. Go ahead, scout. Follow him. You want me to go for the pit? Yeah, should be fine to do so here. I'm gonna get straight. I'll pass on the left. I'll go ahead with spikes. Pass okay. on the left here. Uh, but I'll try. He might be trying to ram you. Two and fifteen yeah, requesting yeah. supervisors and heavy duty vehicles to tackle. We all gonna be. Just uh, stop. He's on the hill. Yeah, we're in Sonora you. Road, we're going on to the freeway. Yeah, if you're an off-road vehicle, we can follow him, but otherwise... Yeah, so. What's his ID? I think he <laughs> might want to report him. He's in a van, he's in a van. Oh, man. We're on the freeway, we're going back into town, southbound. We're going southwest on the freeway. I'm you're going for a pit before we go back spikes, in. Please. User joined your channel. Which freeway? That's not He's just brake checking me hard right now. User left your channel. We're still on the freeway, central freeway. There's gonna be spec strips placed on the uh, LS freeway up front. Yep. Yeah, he's coming up to you guys now. He took a complete UE. Hey, stand by on the armored vehicle. Go ahead, take over scout or Alamo. You can go for a dial on this one. You guys know what make model the vehicle? Yeah, you don't want to go black. scout. It's a blue no, burrito. You can go for it. Blue burrito. Plate is again. User uh, left your Victor channel. Edward King eight four seven. Watch out, guys. Stick this right, is, stick right, this, and I'll this come. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Don't leave me in Yeah, I'll, I'll stick. I'll, I'll coming like uh, like left lane. I'll go for it. Correct lane of travel. We'll send us freeway northbound. Yeah. No bond on the other freeway. Oh, oh we went for the ram, we went for the ram. I'm on your left. He rams you again, take him out. Good for pits. Go for pits. We're still northbound, those sent us freeway. He's proceeding. Well, I'm going to be passing on the left of spikes. I'm moving up spikes. <laughs> now, incorrect lane of travel, those sent us freeway northbound. Approaching the uh, the prison area, state prison, not county. Buffalo up ahead if you want to try and set up spikes. I'll try and slow yeah, them down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah I'll try to slow them down for you. So you got time? Hey, be careful with the spikes. You already tried to hit one of you. Yeah, get hard cover. Time to turn around, please. We're going to be northbound Sonora Freeway now. Well, we're going to be approaching the Sandy Shores exit. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Uh, correct lane of travel. Spike, spike, spike. Spike's it. You got it. Spike's done. Good job. Still continuing northbound. 
the northbound Sonora Freeway, uh, approaching U Tool. I'm going for a pit here. Bypassing U Tool. Yeah. Go ahead. User left your channel. That's successful. He's doing He's a gonna be doing. He's on Red Springs currently. We're gonna be just north of the U Tool Sonora Freeway. Vehicle is um, almost stationary here, being boxed by units. User left your channel. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. Uh, safe to say, we probably don't need this anymore. Good. Sir. User left your channel. Channel switch. User joined your channel. Oh, he's dead. Well, he's dead. That was, uh. <laughs> interesting. Shit, shit, shit. So, guys, we're here at the, uh,. End of that pursuit, which obviously ended very violent. He ended up trying to reach, and unfortunately for the safety of ourselves, we uh, kind of had to take him out there, bunting, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we uh, had to try and obviously tell him to stop. He didn't, so obviously lethal force was having to be used, and you know, obviously it's the last thing we want to do, but sometimes people just want a suicide by cops because they don't want to face the consequences of and, going to jail. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but stuff like that normally ends up in a CK for them whether they like it or not. Uh, yeah, so if people suicide by cop, the high chance of them getting CK'd if we were to chase it up is quite high. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's not a get out of jail free card if you do it. Yeah, you will this, this get punished. This is stuff that does happen sometimes in a roleplay scenario. It's not really what you want, uh, but uh, it's the choice that people do sometimes, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. I think after that pursuit, that was like 10 minutes or so, guys. I. Uh, Unfortunately, it takes so long to sometimes process the video that I need to keep my Let's Plays around like 30 to 40 minutes. So I think with that, and so happy bunting this special guest. Vehicle. It's a pickup Oop. truck going at southbound on Carson Avenue, Tech 1. So I think with that, guys, we're going to end the Let's Play there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I know you didn't get to see a whole lot of traffic stuff, but we did get to hear a lot from bunting, and we did get a pursuit in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Say goodbye, YouTube. Bye! <laughs>